you know, um, I think some of the calls were, we were, they were just bang, bang. You know, a lot of them, we were really trying to get as physical, you know, we're trying to look at the tape and see what we can do. But some of those calls, you know, um, are, are, I think, I feel like a lot of them were just bang, bang calls and they could have went either. They couldn't have called it or sometimes they, they will call it because uh, our coaches even told us like, man, just keep playing the way you're playing. We were getting there like right on time. You know, sometimes those bang, bangs don't go your way. But uh, we just still want people to stay, try to be body on the body, being uh, in close coverage. So um, we'll, we'll watch the tape and uh, see see how we can kind of try to avoid a couple more of those. It was it was getting real. It was getting crunch time, you know. And we felt like we a, a lot of calls were not going our way. Um, but we just knew once we started getting closer and closer to the red zone, it just always reminds us. We started talking about seven shots that we do at practice. We like seven shots. Let's get off the field. Let's win this game. So um, everybody, we were just locked in. Um, we didn't. The crowd. Uh, we kind of miss them, just, you know, just to try to mess up the offense a little bit, but everybody was just communicating um, to the max. And uh, we just saw the time on the clock, but, uh, but you know, when we get to that red zone, that tight red, that's where um, the point differences would swing between the three point or seven point, or if they go for, if they go for it on um, four downs, you know, it's a swing of seven points. So um, we just, we do that all the time. Like I said, we practice it basically every day with our seven shots, with our defense versus our offense between the two and the five yard line. Um, so we feel very, very comfortable down there, and we just had to stand up, uh, communicate, and make those plays.